Sometimes of the year, skeleton heads are more appropriate than regular heads. Fantastic. My name is Curtis, and morning, everybody. So, everybody needs to know, everybody wants to know how to master their universe, the universe, uh, whatever metaphor or uh, simile you want to use, allegory, whatever word you want to use for metaphor, go for it. It's fine. Who better than to tell us how uh, than the actual master of the universe? Ripley? Hey, hi, morning. Yeah, how was your week? Blah, blah, blah. That's fantastic. You got the wrong guy. You got the wrong guy. Either uh, he should be wearing like a pink vest and his name is Adam, or he's like the man, like the he man and the masters of the universe. Like that's like their team, basically. Since when? (laughs) Really? This is the most epic story I've ever heard. Wow. Ripley, I say this all the time. You have the best stories. And I have chips in my mouth. But yeah. Cool. So, Master of the Universe. Little Skeletor. He-Man. Did you, just, did you say He-Man? He-Man. You can't... Alright, here's a here's a question. All this stuff you do, all this whatever, malevolence and, and controlling of all the things. Um, like, why? Like, why? Like, what is, what is the end goal here? Like, just to be in control? Or are you just feeling so out of control? Uh, do you just need, like, a shirt? Do you just need to put a shirt on? Because, I mean... You know, as far as skeletons go, you're like, you're the buffest skeleton. So, you know, there's there's nothing really to be ashamed of. But, um, I don't know. I always find a sweater makes me feel kind of a little more at home and less like taking over a bunch of other people. Uh, slash, are you just in love with He-Man? He-Man. Ah. Hmm? Fork and trowel. He-Man. What's, uh... What's next in the wonderful world of Skeletors? Something more presidential. Presidential? Like Skeletor 2020? Uh, like now. Uh, what? I've already entered the race in a orange beast man outfit. Oh, uh, what now? Yes, it's robotic and magical. I'm quite magical. What's your Castle Grayskull? Tell me about your Castle Grayskull. Uh, I thought you were just trying to attain the love of He-Man uh, so you could rub naked chests together. But that's not it. Apparently you're a lot more political than that. So uh, how to make friends and influence people. What's your advice then, I guess, on how you've become so powerful on multiple uh, universes? He-Man, insults and belittling. Belittling? Like making fun of people? Like, what? You thundering boob. Just do what I say. Huh. <sighs> Okay, uh, oh, yeah, see, I guess that worked. I was very startled, taken aback. Uh, I can see why you can keep an evil man and a beast man in your control. I'm terrified. I don't, I don't like it when you're here. And, uh, I also, um, I can hear, like, I can blatantly hear my neighbors, like, as if they're standing just right outside the door. And I know they're not, and they keep saying that they can't hear me when I'm in here talking to myself. But, I can't yell in an excited super skeletor voice uh, uh with them here and i don't know uh i don't know <laughs> so sorry uh you gotta go skeletor you've just you've gotta go uh, find zeldor goldor zeldor i think it was zeldor and his cosmic key and do 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 uh back to eternia i we, we don't need this here we, we just don't need this here uh in skeleton form or an orange monster face form. <laughs> Either way, uh, out the door with Skeletor. 2016. 2017? I don't know how politics works. Let's watch a cartoon. Uh, oh, Halloween's almost here, and instead of, oh, you're going to do that thing? You're going to do that thing that you always do, where you talk about how you're so afraid of Halloween because of all your terrifying Halloween stories? 
No, uh, not this time. I'm just gonna fill for this Halloween. Uh, you're gonna go by the door, give out candy, and not poop in your pants every time some little kid shows up. Uh, you're gonna be like a real person. No, I'm still definitely not doing that. That's insane. Uh, I, I fortunately I live in a place where uh, my doorway does not really have access to the human world, so I don't have to do that. But I also have other things that will be done on Halloween. And yeah, I'm gonna put together a costume and do a Halloween thing for like one day that's not Halloween because that night is just terrifying. I can't. I just can't. Like, I just can't do the streets. See, I told you, I knew you would do it. Uh, you can't go five minutes though talking about how terrifying Halloween is. Okay, all right? No. Like, okay, maybe, maybe this year, within the last few days and within my own town, people have started, like, just standing off to the side, dressed as clowns, like, <laughs> and no. But I was just going to say that in the interest of Halloween... I would show a nice, happy uh, Halloween cartoon of yours from like a thousand years ago. Uh, but n now we've used up all the cartoon time uh, with you making fun of me being afraid of Halloween. Is it or is it not true that even without uh, my mockery, you probably would have still drifted in to a thing about the clowns and uh, almost telling stories about how terrifying uh, Halloween is? It's neither... You ruined every Halloween. Every Halloween. You know that, right? Every Halloween you've ruined so hard. It's, it's, yeah. We'll be right back. And we're back. Um, I don't know. I think I'll let uh, Milo sit here in his costume. He's not causing too much trouble. Uh, one... Skeletor story that I have is when I was a kid like I I mean that was that was the thing like that was the thing I think I only had uh two or three uh action figures from from that series at the time uh and even then it was like always weird ones I, I always wanted the weird one but at the same time I was just like I don't I've never seen this guy in, in an episode ever ever buzz off like the bee guy oh wow I got the bee guy Still waiting for that episode with the bee guy. Anyway, um, I you know you believe things when when older kids tell you stuff. And there was this huge rock like just a few yards over from my yard, uh, where my aunt lived. And like I don't know, at a certain point in our life, there was like kind of a slight pathway into the woods, like a fire pit uh, thing. This one summer, and it was fantastic. And before it was like cleared out, there was just this huge, this huge rock, like. I don't know, big enough to hold a Skeletor, let's say. And my cousin decided to tell me that, oh yeah, no, like, you don't know this, but, uh, you know, the, the story of He-Man still, like, takes place on, like, it was Earth the whole time. Like, what? Yeah, like, I never saw Planet of the Apes. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, or maybe it wasn't a thing. It probably was. And it was just like, so, you know, there was, like, the battle uh, of He-Man and Skeletor. Like, yeah, like, what? Yeah, it happened, like, you know, a long time ago, a galaxy far, far away. That was this one. So then, uh, whatever, blah, 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 bling, 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 blah. Skeletor was sealed in this rock right here. So, I don't know, whatever. Be careful around it. If it ever gets hit by lightning or something, he's probably going to come out. And then, you know, we've got to deal with a Skeletor somehow. Like, oh, would, would, would He-Man show up and save us from, like, a Skeletor? Like, no. That was, like, millions of years ago. That was it was before the dinosaurs. Like, do you even understand? Like, He-Man's long gone. <sighs> this is, like, my favorite rock. This is, like, the best, like... This was... I wanted... And then I'm like... <sighs> all evening, night long, however long I stayed awake... Like, just terrified, like, oh my god, I have to try to make sure nobody touches or goes near this rock for the rest of my life. I can't, can't risk anything. I can't risk anything. Like, this information is too crazy. And then, you know, still, little kid logic and movie rules apply. Like, don't tell anyone or else he'll just be out. Like, what? That's one of the spells. Like, I wasn't supposed to, but now that's just how it works. Like, the next person can't tell anybody or else, hmm, somehow... He Vulcan mind logic to me, and, and it worked. And regardless, uh, let's say a several days later before I finally 
must have broken down to my father who was just like, no, no, um, everybody, everybody we know just lies for fun. It's just, it's just what we do. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's just a rock. Like, are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go over there and I'll, I'll beat it open with a hammer right now if you want me to. Like, I definitely don't want that. But if you promise me that, like, you could beat on it with a hammer and everything is going to be fine, then uh, then maybe. I don't know. Maybe I could trust you. Like, happy happy Skeletor Day? Oh, God. Whew. Like, dodged an epic war with uh, the hordes of Skeletor, I guess. I don't know. Would he bring his army through again with the Zeldor? Uh, cosmic key. So I guess, I don't know, what do we learn? How do you control the universe? I think it is that uh, basically what, what Skeletor does, you gotta control the information. Does that mean like, you know, uh, rewire the new system and, uh, and the algorithm so that, you know, uh, when you say something it becomes true uh, because you're the president and you're a billionaire and you're crazy? Like, no. No, I don't mean change the, you know, take control of the... No, no, no. I'm not talking about weird dictatorships from 1984 slash the future, however that works out now that it's uh, the future. But I mean, you know, uh, getting the information that you need to do the thing that you want to do. Sometimes you just focus on everything and forget that, hey, uh, you could probably do that thing you want to do. Don't, don't worry about it. Or, hey, people say that... It, yeah, yeah, people are full of all kinds of words. Look at me. Can't stop master the information and that's basically the universe also if you can inflict fear on people and have them twist to your will using fears that they already have uh, built into them based on uh, a society that we've established then you could also do that too that also will help you master the universe around you but don't like don't that's kind of mean and weird uh, and finally before we head out uh i turned sam and megan into a uh, little sam and megan and uh, also a thing that'll be coming up within the next few days, a, a another form area on the website. There'll be a video and all that stuff uh, where you can have yourself turned into Lil and it'll cost money. But that's okay because, um, you, I don't know, you got a job. <laughs> hey, this show should be over by now. You're right. Uh, be good. Be careful. Don't stab anybody. Good morning. Hey, click on my butt or Ripley's butt to subscribe. Click on my butt. Click on my butt. Click on my butt. Meow.